scrimmage today, and did you like the tempo that they played at? Because you'd mentioned yesterday you wanted them to really keep the energy level they had the first two days. For the most part, I was I was pleased with the tempo. It was a, a, a large task in some ways because they were very sore. It went really hard uh, the first uh, two practices in shorts, so they were uh, sore and stiff this morning. But we challenged them, and I thought they practiced really hard. Uh, we uh, scrimmaged two types of scrimmages today. Uh, one was a first and ten scrimmage, and the defense won uh, by, by a point. It uh, came down where it was tied up, and we had a pre-snap penalty on offense. You know, so uh, certainly something to work on there. But uh, the speed of it was good. Uh, we practiced some more, got pass pro and Skelly and all that stuff done, and then came back at the end of the practice and did a second and seven scrimmage. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, the defense won that scrimmage. Uh, in the end, uh, they were playing uh, faster than the offense. And uh, they were a little more reckless and a little more sure, and it showed up in the scrimmage. But I like the speed of things. I, I thought the, the energy and the tempo was good. Uh, the defense was really flying around uh, towards the end of the scrimmage. We started the scrimmage off a little bit slow. Uh, first time we had a lot of you know, live, you know, cutting and tackling, slashing, and all that good stuff. And after we got going, it picked up, and then it was, it was pleased with the end result. Probably not surprising <clears throat> the defense a little bit ahead, of, ahead if you will, at, at this point, to sit in here. So early in the spring, right? Well, it's early, and we've you know, got to get some things timed up offensively. We're keeping it uh, pretty base on both sides of the ball. Mm -hmm. um, but I really liked uh, the way the linebackers were playing fast. I thought our linebackers were, were playing wide open and were, and were very fast uh, in, in the secondary, and that, that showed up. Uh, we have some good potential up front. I think uh, Kwan Short is, 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 is significantly improved over last year. He's a, a stronger body. He carries the weight uh, better now. He goes harder. Uh, more often, more reps, and, and he can be a, a dominant player. I uh, really like what I'm seeing out of Ryan Isaacs and Bruce Gaston. You know, those guys came on last year and played as, as true freshmen, and they've uh, taken some more steps as, as, a, as a player and look good, uh, really, really catching our eye. Uh, we've got Justin Kitchen some out there at the end, and he looks good out there at the end. We've been playing inside some and, and out at the end some. And then the two uh, young uh, defensive ends, Rashad Frazier and Ryan Russell, are getting better as well. So it looks like we have uh, the, the, the parts uh, to work with to uh, put together a, a good unit. So I'm so pleased with it. Is there any, uh, <clears throat> does Justin Siller have any, any ill effects from his foot injury, or do you feel like he's, he's at 100% right now? I, I don't know if he's 100%. I'm assuming that he is because he's been released, you know, from the... <laughs> From the, from the medical issues, but he's going uh, much harder and, and much faster than he did at any point in time last season. He had not uh, played football in a while. Uh, the receiver position was new to him last year. I've never had anyone move to the receiver spot and not have a little bit of a struggle with the stamina part of it. So a lot more running than you can ever imagine. And Justin looks uh, faster. He looks uh, more physical. He looks more confident. Uh, he is using his is good body and size to be a physical blocker out on the perimeter some. You know, so I think he has improved significantly at the receiver position uh, from where he ended at during the season. It may, it's probably too early, but does he need the guy, need to be the guy on, on the receiver court since you don't have Keith now in, in 2011? We have, we have a, a lot of good potential at, at, at the wide receiver position, but because he's older and has been in the games, he certainly uh, should be in position to step up and, and be a difference maker for us. But we have some other guys that need to be the guy, too. And Justin is, is certainly one of them. I'm just going to follow up on the defensive ends. With, I assume Gooden is out right now, right? So there's plenty of opportunities for some of those young guys to get, get a lot of reps, right? They're getting a ton of reps, and I like what I see from them. They have good bodies. You know, they're, they're big guys. You know, Rashad Frazier is a big guy. You know, he's six, you know, five, and probably 250 pounds. Ryan Russell... Doesn't, doesn't even look like the same guy that, that, that came here uh, you know, last fall. Much bigger uh, and much stronger. And then again, I like what I'm seeing when we put uh, Kitchens out there. Uh, Me Bane you know, shows some speed you know, at times on the field. Uh, great opportunities for those guys with Gerald being out. A lot of guys stepping up, getting a lot of reps.